morning it's Thursday the 28th of November and uh, I went on a special trip this morning with an old mate of mine it's Gary Marshall hello Gary hello, uh, Gary owns his own lorry and he hauls out a local quarry on the Mendits um, and he offered for me to come along today and we're just done a short trip to Castle Carey and uh, so I thought I'd come along and see things from a driver's perspective today. So, how's things go with you then, Gary? Yeah, yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speak yeah. up a bit. <laughs> I've already done one load this morning. You're on your second. Um, we're on our second load now. That's two to Castle Carey. Right. I'll go back to the quarry in a minute, and we'll just see what they give us then, and uh, go from there. A little bit. So this truck, Gary, this is your own, this is a Volvo? Yeah, Volvo FM9, uh, it's only a six wheeler, 26 ton, then I carry roughly 16 ton of building products from the quarry um, to whichever site we go to. can range from prisons, which I done last week, uh, hospitals, building sites, road building, you know, it's... Um, Different every day, really. Different every day. But this is about the joys of driving today. When it's a day like this, and you're driving about and seeing beautiful countryside, it's a it's a joy just to come to work. Yeah. In, in one respect. Yeah, you're you know? right. You're right. Yeah. And, uh, and I enjoy what I do. You know. Uh, I love what I do. I would say I, you've got to, unless otherwise um, it's hard. You know, if you get up in the morning and you're yeah. not looking forward to going out and fighting the public. <laughs> oh, Gary, yeah. many years ago you used to be involved in motocross. I remember you were always with her, you had yeah. a bike. Yeah. Um, now you're still doing it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, big time now, yeah. And um, yeah. you've got a member of the family on board with you? Yeah, yeah, youngest daughter. Yeah. I've got three daughters. Uh, and the youngest one took a big interest in it. And she's come on marvellous, really. Um, so she's in the sidecar? She's a sidecar passenger, she's very fit. Yeah. She's hoping to go to university next year and become a PE teacher. Wow. Uh, she does a lot of exercise and she really has got to be fit to do herself justice. And I'm very proud of the fact, you know, that she's done as well. We're up to a good, good speed. We are quite competitive now. Excellent. And, uh, so what machine you got now? Well, it's a 600 Rotax engine in the sidecar outfit, which is a Wasp chassis. The Wasp, which was made in uh, Salisbury, South Newton. Uh, they were very, you know, uh, popular in their day. Uh, it is a bit more old time. It's not modern stuff that we do. But yeah, we, we're having a good time doing it. You know, the, the bond that we've got, my wife's very good with this. She didn't mind us doing it. We don't mind traveling. You know, we travel to you go to North Wales. You know, we've even been to Germany. Really? We went to Germany this year. And we done ourselves proud, really. It's a nighttime floodlit meeting, yeah. which was <laughs> a bit of an experience. And uh, out of 27 in our group, we came 12. So, oh, that's pretty you good know, going, we, mate. We, well, we're about to go back in the quarry in a minute, so I've got to turn the camera off to go in there, and um, we'll do a bit more filming in a bit. Right, that's us loaded up again, and we're off to Sanford in Banwell with a load of tarmac. Is that right, Gary? Yeah, yeah, to a building site. Uh, we haven't been long, straight in, weighed in, under the bins, loaded, and on our way. And, uh, Got one of my favourite trips across the top of the Mendits and uh, maybe I'd get some good footage yeah. uh, across there today. People don't like to let you across because they don't want to, if, even if they're turning, because they don't want to be stuck behind you. Yeah.
this here, if you want to feel yeah. this junction, is one of my real bugbears of a place. Yeah. I've got some blue lights here as well, I don't know what's going on. Um, but this junction, all these signs, uh, you will see in a minute how I struggle. I'm going to go straight across. Yeah. I've got to put the lorry in a very different position so that I can see. Yeah. Because these weight limit signs, look at this sign here. You've got this sign, you've got these weight limit signs. Oh, yeah, they've put them right in front of the junction. Mm -hmm. Fire engine and whatnot going on here. So we don't oh, there's a coach in there. Yeah, there's a bus in there. Somebody right? lives in there, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So this is even adding more. Now, see, I cannot see a thing with that, that seven and a half ton sign there, and there's somebody coming up this way. So I can't be out in the road, with your feet. And they're not going to let you out, even though they're turning. So away we go. And there's me holding my camera, blanking your. No, that's fine. But that's, that's <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know what's happened there. I'm sure. But here we go. But yeah, very difficult. All all them signs. Yeah. And you know, people don't realise yeah. that uh, it's a hindrance. You know, I know they got to be there. But as well, there's so many weight limits about now. Yeah. Uh, and. I think a lot of car drivers are a little bit oblivious that they see a lorry and they see a weight limit and they think you shouldn't be there. Yeah. Uh, but that's not always the case. The majority of the time, you know, people are going about their, yeah. you know, their work. Well, I've got to say, Karen, the ride in this truck is pretty good. It's better than some cars we've been yeah. in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's comfortable. There's nothing to it. You just sat yeah. there and you're just holding a steering wheel. You're hardly doing anything here with it. So, yeah, so would you call this an automatic or a semi automatic? Well, it is classed as an automatic, but I do use uh, the gears in a different position on a manual to benefit yeah. the way I drive, really. See, they've gone back to them already, so, yeah, but um, yeah. they must be working okay because obviously they do want the advantage for coming from that way. sensation to get used to yeah when you've been used to changing gear all the time and then you just sit here mm. piling it forwards you know and it I'd say only thing is sometimes it doesn't have the intelligence to see the hill ahead yeah saying about the wing mirrors earlier on Laurie's Garrett, how yeah. much, if you break a wing mirror, how much is that value well, to you? you know, you're, 
time you've messed about with it, now it can be two hundred quid. It's not just two hundred pound. Yeah, because it's not. They're in different. Uh, if it's just one glass, yeah, you know, you can perhaps get away with that. But if you hit some hard enough, unfortunately, you know, yeah. I've got the guards on the back. You're generally all right. But yeah. You know, they're heated wing mirrors and the elements that come with it and all the rest of the bits and pieces. It's generally more involved with one when they get smashed than just yeah, just a straightforward glass. So, the likes of these hedges here, I would like to see laid down nicely like they used to be. Yeah. Yeah, they let them overgrow yeah, a little bit yeah. now. The, uh, I think anybody that owns a property against the road really should be responsible. Look, I, I was making it narrow, you know? Yeah. Well, we've just tipped off the tarmac at uh, Bamwell. We've come up through um, Burrington Coombe and we've come up against these beasts in the road. Is this a regular occurrence to bump into these in Gar? I've seen them a few times, caught me out. <laughs> yeah, bit of a shock to the system the first time. Do they roam like that now all the time? I presume they do. I presume they do. We got our friend here, the hedge cutter. Oh yeah. Doing a good job today, he's impressing me. And then we got the cyclists. Oh, so, very keen cyclists today. Yeah. Coming up through Burrington Coom. change down in a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna lose my balance in a minute. <laughs> Is it how long until you have a break then, Gary? Four hours or is it? <coughs> you can do four and a half hours driving. Half, yeah. Uh, we've still got nearly an hour left, to be honest. Oh. So we've come back across there. That yeah. It's only took us 34 minutes, 35 minutes from uh, Sanford where we delivered. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's okay at the moment. We'll go back in, see what they're going to throw at us, and uh, <laughs> ambulance coming out. Flashing lights. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's hope they all behave. Lucky the first one, you could sort of see him reading me. Yeah. It's now five to one and we've been back to the quarry and now we're on our way out with another load of stone to Whirl. Well, yeah, Western Super On our Mare. way to Western Super Marriage. Um, so we've now come back down through Burrington, Burrington Coombe. 
and coming back out on the 38 car. Yeah. Back out on the 838. So is this about right for you, uh, sort of daylight today, Gary, about four trips a, a day? Yeah, local? It, it, it can vary, you know, um, you never know uh, what's going to come at you, but you know, you just crack on with what they give to you and hopefully you've made your money at the end of the day. Some days is a good day, some days it's not such a good day, but uh, you know, you do what you can do. two foot here really mm. but obviously you can so now we'll just wait and see how many he's going to follow him fair bit of traffic coming through there because yeah. i can't see around that corner and once i leave round two now yeah. i'm committed now yeah, i can see around the bed now so hopefully we're all right as long as nobody comes around too fast now yeah You've got to try and claim the road when you can. You know, like if you get a space, yeah. you've got to sometimes push on. People might think you're being rude or ignorant. Yeah, I suppose that's what they call you know. defensive driving. It, yeah. You've got to, yeah. you know. You know, if you can get through there, like now I'm looking down here and see these cars coming. Yeah. You know, but there's quite a little gaggle. Well, I'm going to ease off now and let them come through till I get the next vision point where I'm looking now down below the 40 mile an hour sign yeah which has now got white lines in so if i can get to there i know i can pass another lorry yeah so i must go on and claim this bit of road 
and again we're going to go into a stretch where I can see a fair little way now. I've got a few vehicles behind me, everybody's behaving, now here's a truck in it, so uh, come on mate, let him come on because if he's got a few behind him, yeah. I wouldn't be able to pass him, you know. So now I, no, this is the last chance now, I've got to go from here to there, now this hedge you see, if this hedge wasn't here, yeah. I could see round the corner, but here we go. Van man, he's going to take up more room than a lorry. See, and again, I've got to get out from there with the mirrors. Yeah. You know. And again, here, another issue of your wing mirrors on these trees. You know, there's the wall, that, that's their boundaries. I've driven dri dri down here before in a car, yeah. never realised. The what you're up against, really, in a HGV coming through here, how narrow that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and like you say, a lot of trucks use it. Yeah. A lot of people accept you using it, mm. which is fair enough, you know. But some, you know, you sometimes you nearly got to bully your way through a part of it yeah. to get to a place that's acceptable to pass. Uh, lane to another. So I'm in the west of Super one because I'm going to go straight through. And I'm always weary of people. I've had so many on roundabouts of um, come on round, you yeah, know, yeah. because they don't expect to see traffic lights round there. Even like here we go, we've got one out there, we've got one here, and you don't know really where they're going. A white van man out not too far, is he? When he overtook us. Yeah. Interesting to see if he does go left. Well, they're all behaving themselves reasonably today. Not too much traffic, I think, really. No. Good time of day, I suppose. Yeah. This is a thing as well, we find it's time consuming going places. You know, if you just, if they send you down here at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah you lose so much time um, doing, yeah. doing the, the, the journey against now midday or after, you know, yeah. early afternoon. But I always find as well, once you get to three o'clock now, it's a nightmare then. Once the school trips start, yeah. the traffic doesn't recover. So you, all right, Garrett, you set out one morning and you get a puncture. Yeah. Get some a rock or something go through your tire. Yeah. What's the cost of that? Well, you're looking at three hundred pound, really. Three hundred pound for a tire. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, these front ones on the front can be anything up to six hundred quid. Six hundred pound. Yeah. Wow. If you go for Michelin's now, yeah, you can you can be paying that type of money. Mm. Um, you know, you try and go for a cheaper version, perhaps because I find with quarry work and site work. A lot will get damaged. Mm. Uh, you could go and put two new tires on, and then um, the next day you could ruin one. Yeah. You know. So you try and keep everything a bit reasonable. You try and get it looking tidy. Yeah. You know, uh, if you run decent as tires, you probably won't get the punctures or blowouts. Blowouts can be a major thing in the yeah. hot weather, but. Um, we are that all this here now is going to be built on, I believe. A fair bit of land there, isn't there? Really? Yeah, yeah. This is the old for spill. That's the houses that they built on the, what was RAF locking. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're nearly back to back for that. Yeah, yeah. So it's met up. Yeah, yeah. so that's, toy, that's nothing to do with us yeah. there. See, that's toy. Well, that's another load tip now, and now we're heading back towards the quarry, back up on the Mendips again. So how's the day gone today, Gary? You've had a good sort of day, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, I, I think you're a good influence. I have to bring you every day. <laughs> <laughs> it may be cheaper for me to pay you <laughs> to come with me, and I have a good day. Right. You know. No, it's been fine. It's uh, yeah, things have gone okay. The window of opportunity of work this time of year 
uh, you know, you got like say eight o'clock in the mornings, health and safety, the hours of darkness, you know, and then in the afternoons again, the traffic starts building up. And once the school kids are in and out of, are out of school, it never seems to clear. And uh, the building sites as well, most of them, they disappear at four o'clock. So, you know, you're up against it. If you haven't got somewhere that you know you're definitely going to tip and it's three o'clock in the afternoon, then, um, you know, you might be taking it for a ride and bringing it back really. And then uh, that's yeah. a bit painful. Yeah. So you'll probably get back now might be able to do another short load somewhere, yeah? Yeah, I'm hoping yeah. so. Yeah, I should imagine I can go. You never know what they're going to throw at you, but uh, you'd be a brave man to try and go too far. Uh, but I don't think there'll be too much anyway, because that's how that's how it goes. They know they know the score. They try getting rid of most things by about half past two, three o'clock. Yeah. 